Hi, it's Angry Admin here from AngrySysops.com and today I'll show you not one, not two, but three ways how to upgrade your ESXi host from version 7.x to version 8. Okay, let's do it. The method number one is the easiest method, which is attach an ISO to your ESXi host and run host from that ISO. This is good method if you have one or two hosts, not many of them. So I will show you how to do it now. I am using VMware Workstation, so this process is a bit different. Um, I need to attach my ISO to my ESXi host. So I right click on it. I'm going to settings and the CD DVD. And you can see it was 7.0 update 3C. I click on browse and I am choosing my version 8 ESXi. Uh, let's pause for a second here. Uh, I am receiving uh, many requests and questions about the licenses. As you know, the ISO you can download from VMware website. Now it's a customer connect website and you can open a free account on you, uh, or you can register to your account. But the question is about licenses. So the quickest and the best way to get the licenses is to become a VMOOC advanced member. There is a small fee for that uh, membership. It's a small comparing what you are getting. I will leave the link the, in the video description and you will see all the benefits you can get. The second option is if you have a blog like myself or YouTube channel, or you promoting in some way VMware and VMware products, you can uh, apply to become a V expert. And I will link that as well in the in the video description, um, so you can go ahead and read. So this is two ways to get a licenses um, for small price or for free. Okay, let's go back to the video. So we have to uh, highlight our um, hypervisor. It's a 8.0 version. Uh, click open and we see it's attached. Make sure it's connected. Okay, so now we need to power off this machine. And um, why not reboot? Because we need to go to the BIOS and run that host from the um, from ISO. And in the VMware workstation, we're doing in this way that we need to power off. And this VM has no uh, VM. Uh, this ESXi host has no VMs, so there's no implications. Now, once it's off, have a look here. You see the green arrow? We don't power that on. We click on the small gray arrow over here, and we power on to VM. And we power on to <laughs> firmware. I'm sorry, <laughs> firmware. Now. As you can see, we have a boot manager menu. We need to go down to our CD room and click enter. Now it's booting from the ISO. It will take a few moments. And um, so you can use this time to like and subscribe to my video. Click on the notification bell and leave a like. Okay, I will see you in a few moments. Okay, and we can see that installer has loaded. So now we need to click enter and uh, of course accept terms and conditions. So F11 and now it's scanning for available space. As you can see, uh, it found our disk. So let's click enter to continue. And now we have an option. We can upgrade ESXi or we can install new ESXi and um, override the database or preserve database store. We want to upgrade. So we leave upgrade check and click enter. And we can see that installer is configuring to upgrade your system from ESXi 7.0.3 to ESXi 8.0. Yes, that's correct. F11. And now the process started. We see upgrade is completed. Now we just need to reboot the host. Press enter. And now the ESXi is loading. Again, it will take a few moments to load. We can see on the top 
that this is VMware ESXi 8.0 and the build number is 20513097. Okay guys, and it's done, done and dusted. Now, before we hop to method number two, please leave a like and subscribe to that video and leave the comment if you liked what you saw. Oh, method number two, okay. As you can see, we have host on the version 7.0.3. Now, before we go ahead, we need to do one change on the host. And so let's go configure the host. We need to enable SSH. So we are going down to troubleshooting options. And actually I have already enabled, but you should have that disabled. So if you see that SSH is disabled, uh, then just click enter. And you can see it's disabled SSH, but SSH is enabled. Okay, so current state of SSH should be enabled. Now press escape and escape again, and we are ready to go. So in this method, we will use a command line. So we need to use some kind of SSH manager. I'm using Putty and I will log into my server. All right, let me just grab this here so you can see clearly. Now we have to uh, perform here two actions. The first action is to allow your SSA to allow your server communicate with the internet and the other command would be actually an update. I have those commands uh, saved and I will share with you on my blog angrysysops.com so you can pause the video and write them down or you can hop onto my blog angrysystems.com and get those commands from there. And I will put article how to upgrade the ESXi host as well. And there will be the comments. Okay, enough of, <laughs> of that. So the first command is this. Uh, you just copy, press enter, and we're done. The next uh, command is to actually upgrade the software. So it's ESXi software profile update, and the image is the same as I use in the method number one, which is 20513097. If you are using the higher version, uh, obviously you have, to, um, you have to change that bit. Okay, so just press enter. And now we will not get anything on the screen. Uh, we have to patiently wait for an upgrade to be done. Uh, it will take a few moments uh, and I will see you once it's finished. Okay, guys, as you can see, we got some feedback. So let's scroll a bit up. Okay, and we can see message, the update completed successfully, but the system needs to be reboot for the change to take effect. Reboot required true. Okay, so we can minimize that one and let's reboot um, the host. So let's press F12. We have to authenticate. Click enter. We don't need to uh, uh, forcefully terminate any VMs because that host doesn't have any VMs. And let's click F11. And again, it will take a few moments. Um, so I will do the magic of editing. And you, in the meantime, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel. And as the ESXi is booting, you can see that uh, ESX version is 8.0.0 and the build is the build we were looking for. It's 20513097. And we done. So this was the method number two. And again, it's quick and easy if you have a very small environment, one, two hosts, um, because this is a very manual process.
and now it's time for the third method and we will be using life cycle manager so as you can see i have those two hosts this is the host which we were worked on before and this is already version uh, 8 but this host is still on the version 7.0.3 now one thing before we go ahead if you want to update your host with the vCenter vCenter has to be on the version 8 as well so just let's confirm that I am and as you can see it's version 8 now we'll be using something called image okay so if you go to the cluster and then update we can see we don't use baseline anymore we'll be using image so let's set up an image there's a few steps um, to set up image first esxi version of course we want the version 8 ga once we set up esxi version we can add vendor add-ons in my production environment i'm using dell so if i would go here and click select and i can find dell and i can choose dell to um, whatever server i have and whatever version i need um, to add furthermore we can update firmware and this is big win because if you do the firmware along with esxi update you have just a one reboot and the host uh, if it support quick boot it's even better so i in my production environment i have set up omnivv and through omnivv i can update a firmware as well so you select here and here would be omnivv and then you select the depot um but for that purpose, for the purpose of this video and how to update ESXi, we just uh, select the ESXi version and we click save. Image is a good um, option because in this step one, you are defined, you are set up your desired state image and any variations, you will get notification that let's say one host is not up to that image and you can remediate that uh, very quickly. Uh, now checking um, cluster compliance it will take a few moments um, just leave a like and subscribe to my channel click the notification bell leave the comment and I will speed up the video a bit okay and we can see the compliance uh, has finished and we see two hosts uh, status so the first host as we know it's on the vSphere 7 also, it says that hosts have standalone VIPs installed, which may be removed, which is cool feature because you don't need to worry about removing VIPs. Uh, by the way, if you hit with that problem and you're on the older version, uh, I just released an article on my blog, how to bulk remove VIPs using PowerShell. Um, so check angrysysops.com and you will find out. With this one, um, we don't need to worry about okay so let's scroll and we can see that a uh, host version is a 7 u3c and the image is 8 we can click remediate all and we see uh, what's the impact we have to accept terms and conditions and we start remediation now it will take a few moments and um, because what will happen it will put the host in the maintenance mode it will migrate the vms and uh, it will remediate the issue so again um it will take a few moments i will um speed up the video As we can see, um, the host is already in the maintenance mode. So the system put the host in the maintenance mode and the remediation is ongoing. Um, I will, it will take a moment. So as usual, I will speed up the video. And as we can see, the host is on the version 8.0. Uh, the build number is correct build number. And that would be it. We learned how to update host by ISO, command line, and VLCM, which is VSphere Lifecycle Manager. And um, if you have any questions or comments, 
please leave them down below the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe uh, my channel. All the links you can find in the description of that video uh, for VMOOC memberships, for VExpert, uh, for ISO. Um, just go through this and you can always chat with me uh, on Twitter. My handler is at angrysysops. Thank you and see you in the next video. Bye.